Oregon State with a much needed win at home over Washington State. Beavers now four and seven in Pac-12 play. Rich Burke along with Dan Dickow. This game was close early on, in large part because of the play of Robert Franks. He had the first eight points for WSU. Yeah, Robert Franks got hot early, 12 of his 17 points came before intermission, but he was about the only bright spot for Ernie Kent's Washington State Cougars. This game was tied at 24, but then the Beavers scored the final 13 points of the half. They finished the first half as well as they finished any stretch of the season, and they did it in different ways, sharing the ball, driving the ball, moving the ball, but they kept it rolling right into the second half. And in his first career start, Alfred Hollins playing because of the injury to Seth Berger, a concussion. He had 19 points. Well, Coach Wayne Tinkle says he keeps getting better and better, and tonight was an example of everything coming together. And Trace Tinkle, another game with 20 points, five rebounds, five assists. He just does it all on the floor. He gives you toughness, he gives you defensive energy, he gives you ability to space the floor and knock it down, and at the end of the day, He's going to give you everything he's got attacking the rim. Oregon State, 7 of 16 on three-pointers. Washington State hit a bunch late to make it eight in this game. They're fourth in the nation, averaging 11 and a half a game coming in. But look at the field goal percentage, 57 for Oregon State. Well, 65% in the second half. That is the best that Oregon State has been from start to finish in any game this season. Oregon State with a win over Washington State. To open up the weekend, the Beavs will be home against Washington on Saturday at 7, and the Cougs at Oregon on Sunday at 5 o'clock.